Right, so a lot of you people know I actually bought this car so that Johnny could fund this gym, Hard Bodies Gym. It's pretty exciting. Let's walk in. We're going to give him his plate back. It's only been, I don't know, a month. Bruce is here. They, they locked me out. These guys <laughs> freaking locked me out. Sorry, we're talking about cars. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Uh, it's been like 22, 23 weeks now, and... Uh, the turbo finally came. The turbo's here. So we have a turbo. Did I sell the Supra though before the turbo came? No, I didn't. I still have it. Hopefully this is what it takes to keep it. Cause I don't know, I'm not in love with it. It's okay. It's all right. So let's open it and see what's inside. All right, let's open this up and see. The big fear I have is there's no install kit. The other fear I have is it's just a turbo in here with nothing else. And I'm going to continue to get the same level of uh, love and support from these guys that I've been getting. So let's see. All right, so there's the turbo. And yeah, it looks like there's nothing else in here. No gaskets, no nothing. When I bought this thing, I was like, hey, what do I need? They said, oh, we'll take care of that. We'll get everything that you need. But I don't think they included the gaskets or anything. Also, how is that for clearance on the hood? That's with the lift up, so the car can be up there. I've got that much clearance on the hood, pretty much on either side. It's like perfect. It's perfect. I can just work on it. That's as good as it gets. All right, so I've actually done a horrible job. This, again, is not an install video. Um, this venting hose the clips broke when we put it in um, or took it out. So I had to get a new one. Now it's here. So I put that vent hose on. I'm reinstalling this horrible, horrible, ugly, terrible engine intake, uh, which is gonna bolt here and under there. And then I think we can pretty much plug plugs in and we'll be ready for a tune. So yeah, it's been a little more work than it should have been. Uh, I would say that that is a great combination of things. We had the wrong parts, the wrong people, me, uh, just whatever. But we're here. We're almost done. Okay, that stuff's all in. A couple of things. One, there is not a mounting bolt on the front of this, like, heat shield thing uh, there. So I had to improvise, but there is a spot to put it on the back. The other thing is, look at the quality of this engine. I don't care if anybody thinks it sounds cool. This was on the car when I bought it. It was like three or 400 bucks. No, probably 300 bucks. Spend a thousand and buy the HKS. That's what I would do. And then probably gonna do it. It's worth going back through and redoing all of this to put the right stuff in because that's gross. This is like the worst quality I've ever seen. And uh, yeah, but we're just putting on connectors now and uh, we're ready for a tune. All right, just like that, everything is in, everything is secured, torqued down. I think I've got all of the, see I pulled out the JB4 and there was a bunch of like intermediary connectors. I think that we got them all back. I think everything's plugged in correctly. We need to put coolant in and once the coolant is in, we can give it a rip. Well, we're not gonna rip it because it needs to be tuned, but we can go from there. Also, I think that these are like the cutest little footprints ever from Story, so might leave them for a minute. I'm gonna leave them, I think, just for a minute. So let's start it and see if it even like what pulls up. There should be one code um, that pulls, but I just, I don't even know if the car will turn on. So let's see. All right, so everything is together. I closed the hood even. Uh, car is looking pretty good. I need to jump in and just make sure it'll even turn on. So let's go start it. I can't drive it or anything, it needs coolant. Um, but let's just go make sure it even works. We'll go from there.
What's up, everybody? It is tuning day. This is my luck. So let's try and get the car out of the garage. <laughs> and then we're going to see if we can do some polls. And then I'll call Mikey and have him log in and see if we can do this. So may or may not work today. We're going to try. All right. So purple wheels are back here. Um, we are out here in the mini. Why? Because it's the only PC that I own, actually, and Ecutech software only works on a PC. So here's what we have to do. You have to plug in the adapter that goes into the car, um, the command module or whatever they call it. It's a Bluetooth module. Uh, and you have to plug in a key. So they have a key that gives you access to unlock all of this. Um, so I plugged all of that in. It is downloading the software. It is setting up. And hopefully we get it done uh, soon because my appointment for tuning is in 35 minutes. So we gotta figure out how to use all this stuff, download it and be ready to go in 35 minutes. Luckily, the roads are pretty clear and I think that we'll be okay to, to do this. We just have to do a fourth gear pull, which fourth gear pull in a Supra, imagine that. Probably pretty slow, probably pretty slow. Anyway, the computer out of the car which is actually pretty freaking dandy fandy. Uh, this is for the simulator. This is what we're gonna use for doing all the Ecutech stuff. So unfortunately it's what I've got. I have to move it out here. This way we can uh, plug everything in. I believe you have to actually be able to plug into the car. Um, so we'll go out and pull data and then come back and do updates. Uh, I believe is how this works. I've never actually done a remote tune. Uh, so we load the initial map on, I think, then go out, drive, come back, pull data, and go back and forth that way. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So <laughs> I don't really have a, a PC laptop. I've got all Mac stuff. But the computer out of the car, which is actually pretty freaking dandy fandy, uh, this is for the simulator. This is what we're going to use for doing all the Ecutech stuff. So unfortunately, it's what I've got. I have to move it out here. This way we can uh, plug everything in. I believe you have to actually be able to plug into the car. Um, so we'll go out and pull data and then come back and do updates. Uh, I believe is how this works. I've never actually done a remote tune. Uh, so we load the initial map on, I think, then go out, drive, come back, pull data, and go back and forth that way. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Far, what we're doing is we plugged in we pulled up in tools, we went to the ECU identity tool, sent a screenshot of that to Mikey, and he's doing magic. I think right now we're gonna load a base map on and then we start to play. So um, I will see how this goes timeline wise. So we'll be good. Now we've got the car connected, um, <laughs> as you can see, very fancy. Um, yeah, it was kind of nice to pull out the uh, the JB4 and put in a real tuner. So we've got that connected. We sent over a map to, in fact, I don't really want the door pinching that. Sent over a map, or I'm sorry, sent over a list of mods to Mikey Body. He is going through that along with my altitude, pump gas type, all that. We only have 91 octane, so he's got to adjust. Uh, but I think he's putting together the base map. The base map will come over here. We'll put it in the car. Um, and then we'll go do some polls and see how everything is, see if there's adjustments to be made and hopefully be rocking and rolling. Okay, so Mikey's a little MIA. I think he's probably working on a couple of other cars at the same time. Probably makes sense. He'll only text you. So uh, I went in to the tools. I did the vehicle identification. And then there is actually uh, a window that says like program ECU, I think is what I clicked on. Uh, and then once you're in here, there's a button and you probably can't even see it that says program ECU. So right now, the map he sent me, it opened on its own. I have it here. Uh, we are programming and we're at about 52%. We are plugged into the car. The car is making beeps and noises and malfunctions. You just let it do its thing. So that's where we're at. So we have the race ROM on now. So the car starts and we're on, but we still have to reprogram now and put the new map on. So. I don't know. Apparently the car needed to be reset to a different baseline so we could put a base map on it and then we'll do all the tuning on top of it. But this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I will say that. So everything is in now. The car started. No lights are on. So that's a good start. Uh, so now what we've got to do 
is uh, we've got to go do a couple of pulls, which I don't have a cameraman right now, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But the car is tuned now. We're going to go run a baseline and see if we need to change anything. Okay. So we are on our first drive. We're doing pulls right now for Mikey. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this car's got pops or not. Is this a verbal tune? Is this what they mean by verbal tune? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what this does. I go to the gym. Pops get you girls. That's what my dad told me. So what are we what are we running here for mods now? Um so we have a a body tune, tuned by body, body by body. I don't know what they call it, like body by Mikey. Um, a Mikey body tune. A Mikey body tune who is the first Supra tuner that I know of who's ran sevens in a Supra. So he's done a seven second car. Uh, the car now is a um, turbo back exhaust. It's the FI exhaust, full turbo back. Catless, obviously, that's what that means. But if you didn't know that's what that means, that's what it means. Uh, so we're, we're full exhaust, we're tuned. We have like an AutoZone engine intakes, like the ugliest, most horrible thing I've ever seen. Um, but it works, it does work, and it sounds good when you can hear it over the exhaust, which is never. Um, and what else do we have? Oh, a Pure 800 Turbo that took me seven months to get, so. Um, so that's a, <laughs> that's slow. We're running into the mountains of Sonoa, Sinaloa. That was not over 100 miles an hour in a 30. PAs per MA. Uh, I didn't know they got this much snow in Mexico, honestly. They, they get a lot of snow in the mountains of Sinaloa. They actually do get snow. <laughs> and so far we're doing okay. Peak security guy over here. And then. I know the camera is not doing those pops justice. <laughs> no, probably not. You probably won't even get them with the window open. Maybe. Maybe. He's tapping it. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically what we're dealing with now. We're gonna take this back, give it to Mikey. Everything should be set, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's like a whole new car that I cannot drive. So that's us, just trying to survive. So a few months ago, I bought this car from Johnny, this house, and he had done a lot, but uh, I think I did a little bit more. So I want to just let him drive the car now and see what he thinks. Might be surprised. Might not. Might not care. We're going to see, I guess, if he even answers his door. He might not answer his door. His kid's going to answer the door. Someone will answer the door. The strangers will answer the door. Look at this sharp looking dude. Ding, ding. I thought I would just uh, drop in on you. Well, does she look any different? Car. Does it look any different than when it you looks had a it? lot different? Yeah, it's like when you break up with a girl and then she's with a hotter guy and she looks hotter somehow. Maybe she got a <laughs> or she went to hard bodies. <laughs> it could be hard bodies. Burn your rubber, <laughs> giving them keys. So uh, it'll open. You don't look, it was so clean before I left. Kind of clean. It's cleanish. So we're gonna go just wherever. It's uh the the tires definitely you'll feel that they're cold and bald, so have fun. <laughs> How's your new car? So fun. I bet. It's fun. 
I don't even know how fast those are. What's the horsepower on them? Five, you got a new NSX. 577. I bet it feels close to this then, power-wise. What's yeah. this guy at? Like five at the wheel. Oh. <laughs> uh, difference is that one will hook up though. <laughs> yeah. Are those all-wheel drive? Yeah. Yeah, it'll... I miss this exhaust. It's a little burbly now. It's Yeah, it's a lot more burbly. He actually sent me a tune without the burble because with the burble, because it throws a lot of the fuel back in, and that's uh -huh. what makes the burble, I'm getting like 12 miles a gallon right now. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it's the horsepower. It's everything, right? Yeah. But I'm waiting for you people. <laughs> I mean, right away, you should already feel it's like uh, yeah. better. This thing's a monster. Oh. Yeah, you can't even like lug gears now. Like, there's no like you have to like commit. It wants to freaking rip. Yeah. Hate me right yeah, now. You can tell that the tires do not like it, but you haven't gone fast yet. So, oh, we should probably roll down this the thing, window. This thing is a The turbo is still pulling. Oh my gosh, dude, how fast is this thing? Have you done any like oh, real yeah. testing on it? No. No. Because I'm, I'm kind of waiting for it to warm up because right. you can't really hook up right now. You've done like butt cheek testing? Yeah. And it's that... all been like ass dino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I could make these tires die. Like, They're pretty bad anyway. They're still the ones that were on the variant wheels. Oh, yeah. Those are new when I gave them to you. Oh, well, they're not very, they don't look very new anymore. I'll tell you that. I put like maybe 600 miles on Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, but I've driven quite a bit. I've almost got 17,000 miles. Oh, my gosh. So I put 10,000 in like. You put 10,000 miles on this car in a summer. <laughs> what is the NSX weigh? 3,800 pounds. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. I bet we'd be pretty close if I hooked up. I bet I will We're race. We're roll racing. Yeah, I will race you in the wintertime anytime. No, not From in a the dead winter stop. I, yeah. So this summer we're going to do some roll racing. <laughs> if it, I, yeah. The NSX will not be the same car come summertime. What is that? My oh, wow. What is this guy doing? What's up, guy? <laughs> Pe right. People get mad at us for driving these cars fast. That the minivans are in the wrong lane. That minivan was going sideways through my lane. Oh, man. Yeah, so we're opening a shop, 218 Automotive, in Bluffdale. Oh, yeah, I heard the rumors. Yes. I heard the rumors. I have two really, really... Why is it called 218? Because that... it was 218 when we decided on a name. Oh. You know, I was like, what if we call it this? And <laughs> they're like, no, that sounds dumb. And I was like, what time is it? <laughs> it was 216. They're like, no, that sounds dumb. So we talked for a while, and then we're like, what time is it now? 218. That's our name. Nice. But we have uh, a Porsche Master Tech mechanic and an Audi Master Tech mechanic who... You better start saying Porsche, then, if you're going to go after the Porsche guys. Get an Instagram editing.